Hey everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and HockeyShot.com. In our last tips video, we talked a little bit about sniping corners and uh, how to get to the point where you can pick off any corner consistently. We talked a little bit about the strategy behind this and where you want to start with your highest percentage shots, work your way down to the next highest percentage, all the way down to your lowest percentage based on whether you are right-handed or left-handed. And uh, in that video, we eventually we got to the point where we were sniping um, you know, any corner as well as the five hole kind of at will. In this video, we're going to take that concept to a new level, kind of bump it up another notch and uh, what I want to talk about today is going bar down. Now going bar down is kind of keeping the same concept as you know picking off a corner except that it's going to allow you to score more goals if you get to the point where you're good at it. So uh, let's go ahead we'll do that and then I'll show you what it might look like in action and then uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, so, so to work on your shot, to work on your bar down, like we're gonna do in this video, you, you need a few things, a few key things. You need a shooting pad. For this, we're gonna use the uh, Extreme Ice Professional Shooting Pad from HockeyShot.com. Um, obviously, you need pucks. So uh, we're gonna be using just standard black pucks. Now I've noticed in a number of different shooting videos that people do, they kind of mix in their off ice, you know, road hockey pucks with their regular black pucks and, you know, maybe have like a four ounce little, uh, you know, mini mites puck in there um, and some weighted pucks. Keep whatever you're gonna work on, use the same types of pucks. So if I'm gonna work on just standard shot, use your standard black puck. If I'm gonna work on building my wrist strength, forearm strength, then yeah, shoot all weighted pucks. Um, you know, if it's a little kid, then yeah, I mean, it, philosophies vary on that, but don't mix up your pucks. I just think that that kind of is counterproductive um, and not really worthwhile. So use all black pucks, that's what I recommend. Uh, you also need a net. Now, if you're gonna work on um, just general accuracy, you can use something like a tarp which is what we've got. We're actually gonna be using the tarp as a backstop today. Um, but if you're gonna be working on specific bar downs, you need an actual net. So I recommend the Easy Goal. Easy Goal is a great, it's a lightweight um, setup that actually folds up and uh, you can kind of keep it in your garage when you're not using it or you can just leave it set up. But uh, it's worked well for me. We're gonna be using the Easy Goal. You can see I took all the targets out. Now, um, the reason why is because with bar down, most of the same rules don't apply as um, you know general you know upper left upper right bottom left bottom right five hole so what we're doing with the bar down is we want to jam the goalie okay so um, imagine there's a goalie in that in fact we can actually let's use this uh, shoot this uh, sniper's edge goalie in the background imagine the goalie sitting in the net okay and uh, you know if you go top right you may or may not catch him depending on where his glove is and uh, if your shot's good enough great but Imagine you go top right, just right over his shoulder, okay? Not only is that gonna be, if the goalie's in his proper crouch, there's gonna be an opening there, okay? So we're talking probably about a foot, a foot and a half inside that, uh, that corner, okay? So you go top right, but bring it a foot and a half in, goes right over his shoulder. Even if he's really athletic, it's gonna be really tough for him to get his glove on that shot. So you're gonna be jamming him. Same thing applies on the other side, although the blocker side is easier to cover than the glove side. Okay, and then you've got the same concept on the posts. So most goalies nowadays, the goaltending position has improved a lot over the past few years. And uh, goalies that play their position well and um, you know, position themselves well in that and play proper tactically, they shut down a lot of the net. So a new place to shoot that's working really well nowadays with a butterfly style is about two feet up, maybe a foot and a half up, but right off the bar and in. Okay, right off the, uh, off the post and in on either side. Okay. Now what, the reason why is because as a goalie's in his butterfly, his or her butterfly, um, there's you know, about a foot and a half to two feet up. That's where they're you know, get, gonna get it right over their pad, but you gotta be precise with it. So like I said, this video is taking the precision to a new level. Now we're really picking spots specifically. So my main aiming points are gonna be, I'm gonna aim right at that easy goal logo on either side, and then I'm gonna be going about two feet up on the posts. So let's go ahead, I'll show you what this might look like in action, and uh, hopefully we can make a good demo of this. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go uh, top right to start. Again, we're gonna be aiming about at the Easy Goal logo, maybe just to the left of that. Again, the idea is we wanna go right over the goalie's shoulder, where it's gonna be really tough for him to get his glove on it. After you do a few of those, and maybe we'll go uh, bottom left, bottom right. Again, going about two feet up off the uh, ground or off the ice and we're looking to go right inside that post. So if we can hit post and in, that's what we're looking for on this drill. There's a bar down. Can't really stay in the net though. So 
one more off the bar and then call it good. Okay, so that's the idea. Now, um, obviously from further out it's gonna be harder to go bar down with. So, uh, but that's the idea. From closer in, you'll go right up under the bar, drop it straight down. Let's go bottom left now, about two feet up. That was not two feet up. That's about where we're looking. Right inside that postal, we wanna get it in the net. Okay, let's go bottom right. Again, aiming for the post. Okay, that's about perfect what we're looking for. Post, post, and out that time. A couple more. All right, so that's what that type of practice might look like. Again, it's a lot more difficult going, uh, you know, bar down and posting in than it is just your standard, you know, pick the top right, pick the top left, and uh, just kind of corner work. But uh, with a little bit of work, you'll hopefully get more consistent than I was on those shots. And uh, a little bit of work, you'll be able to start sniping, bar down, posting in, and it should up your goal scoring production and uh, make you a better hockey player. You can pick up all these products at hockeyshot.com and make sure you check out weisstechhockey.com as well for some great tips, drills, and other ways that you can prove yourself uh, both on and off the ice.